There's enough for our parents. I want to contribute to the pitney dirty thinking behavior. Cause I want to know pitney wrong. I want to not tell them say they're wrong. I want to gigi 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 a skin off on the teeth. Make him see my name young. Why want to keep them on the yard? Keep on the crossbreed. I want to own mongrel on the have on the yard. Make them you know. Why want to send them out here? Who no can control them on the yard? Why do not send them out of them the teachers them and kill people innocent pitney? And who no their yard? Alright. Let me tell you something. Don't but I feel like so they might come out and come stab up and shot and kill people innocent like a pitney. And go to jail, go spend them two years and three years and come out back and all is well. And a mother and a father and a family ball. And only that you that eat and fat and take man. You know, you feel the rat tight, you know. You know, you feel the rat. And when they come from jail, they go feel it. And they feel like people are going ball. And they go, all right. Keep on a crossbreed when mixed with rat while and mongrel and shit so and rat. A rat. And on the yard. Because look little boy, them know the girl syndrome virus. When them out here fight for gal, them now fight for book and pencil. Them out here fight for gal. When you know one, some of them, cause them don't like me, huh? you need to take a whole entire family, carry them up in a blue mountain, go tie them with rope, make any am green coffee and am grass. Them not doing it with civilized people. Them a little boy not doing it with civilized people. Carry them go bush, go let them go like wild hog. Why, oh God Almighty, boy? Now, people, first thing first, give credit where credit is due. This youth, I guess he's on TikTok, G A F F E R 3323. So, therefore, give credit where credit is due. Usually, I don't take stuff from a lot of these social media people because most time, they might talk a bunch of BS. However, in this case, this man is telling the truth about what is going on the current present situation in our schools. These schools are no longer any place of education. It is more like some sorts of penal institution, the garrison, some sorts of bad place, bad community. So therefore, he is echoing the general consensus of what most persons include myself think as it pertains to the parents and even was at the picnic. Bad parents make bad picnic in most cases, 99% of the time. So therefore, if you have a dysfunctional home, what is going to come out of it is a whole bunch of dysfunctionality. Some sides have twisted picnic. So therefore, they let out their picnic to become plagues, pestilence and puzzle to society menaces to society and that is what we see being perpetuated in a these schools them send out them picnic for get some sorts of relief from from the home so therefore whenever them want peace and tranquility them can't wait for morning for send a little picnic them for go bully other people picnic in a school and while it might not be scientific for the most part, whenever you see the little pit of them act like this at school, not a hundred percent proof. Most of the time, these mothers are not gainfully employed. These fathers are not gainfully employed. Their employment is usually some sorts of criminal activity. So therefore, them get up every day, them send out a little menace them to society, to the society, and then them stay home, go and go take some sorts of cocky, or they are the lane mouth, or lane foot to argue, attack all sorts of BS. And what is also very disturbing is these young youths that are now F-I-G-H-T-I-N-G, over a little girl or a girl a fight over a little boy. We are talking about the four-fold girl and four-fold boy syndrome that is being perpetuated in the school. So people like them say they are fully done and when they are fully done, this is the action that we get from both the parents and so the picnic. The picnic them practice whatever they see in the home and then bring it upon the streets. Dance a yard are fully done a yard, fully done abroad. Point blank and Period. On a color bar, 
a trouble the pit in them. A Mona have up the boy them from Pat Calabar for one female who go Queens. And I saw them go a bus park and them a war. And I saw it get serious so till I see one video when Smaddy a fling bicycle off a Smaddy. I see Smaddy fling big stone in our neck Smaddy face. And I'm Mona and Calabar alone because other school I get involved in it. I mean, I think nobody did. They mean, I'm a no, so one of the boys, I'm in the hospital, but his mother did dead. Mr. Jones would have to come out and say something about it. I must see Mr. Jones has sent one bag of message this for other school, like Casey and Georges and some other school involved in it. So, Pitney, where I got half a tree, need to be careful because they will get stuck up on me. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that I am familiar with boys and girls' champs. However, people, I was not aware that there was some sort of pom pom champs that was kept a couple of days ago. I am speaking about a viral video that has been making its round over social, social media in the last two or three days in which it shows some members of Calabar, Mona, GSC, KC and even Campion College involved in a some sort of contention physical in which it is said alleged that the whole reason or the motive is because of some sorts of girl that attends queen's high school so may i said to myself then hold on a minute what is so special about this little skank that these boys are willing to take away each other going to all sorts of world war three for the pums Something must be special about her, so therefore I pride and I did some sorts of investigation. So let me get to the exactly what took place before I get to this little skank. There's a couple of videos making their rounds because of YouTube's policy as it pertains to picnic children under the age of 18. I will not show it for obvious reason. So in the first video, we saw a whole bunch of picnic come out of some sorts of minibus, maybe about a hundred of them or so. I thought that it was a commercial for the minibus. Then after that, we see say, there was all sorts of MMA, uppercut, Mike Tyson, KICK boxing, Ray T, all sorts of people, are through all sorts of tricycle, bicycle, rock, board, you name it, it was happening. It is said that there was an incident before that at the bus park, I think in Halfway Tree, where the same thing transpired. Based on the motive, like I said to you, it is because of some sorts of girl. Now people, since this incident occurred, it is said that Mona High School had to lock down because of fear and because of other students getting injured. Until I think Monday coming. It is said that the school board, the teachers, the parents, them link up along with the poor poor to try to get this mess under control. Now people, based on the motive that I am hearing and I have this young girl's picture, I will not post it because of YouTube's policy. However, there's also a video that accompanied these pictures of this young girl. In this video, this young girl, if it is her, the picture of the queen's girl look like the the picture of the purse or the image of the purse in the video so i am going to assume but you know that sometimes people look alike but they are not the same so therefore whenever you assume you might be wrong but people if i was a betting man i am going to say if this is actually the girl from the girl from queens this is the same person in this video in this video this one individual girl was seen with some sort of tool in her mouth and when I say told me mean shows me mean G U N. She was pretty much blowing on this tool as if it was some sort of Gogozella while we're on the topic of champs. P U M P U M champs that is. And people, to tell you the truth, the skill sets of this girl is the reason why these youth she might have licked their chip because people should be told. These youth, them act like them bad, them act like them, them fast, them act like them a man. However, they are slow, meaning they are on the Special Olympics. M.O. That means that them not really too bright, them fully dunce, them head can easily chip. So I said to myself and people, the reason why I am mentioning this is because it is school children and school children, no sorts of big man and picnic from school. 
So therefore, it is appropriate for me to talk about. So I say this to say that this girl is ahead of the class. This girl is ahead of everything that we see and ahead is the operative word. That means that these little youth will just start F-U-C-K because let's face it, these little pick them fast when it comes to S-E-X, but them slow when it comes to them schoolwork, them slow when it comes to these girl fool and man fool syndrome. So I say this to say that if this girl is acting like this in a, this video with this tool, she is no ordinary little picnic we're supposed to go to school. This girl look like a P-O-R-N star. This girl looks as if she has done this many times before, many years before. She don't just start. So therefore, these little slow, nerd kind of youth, whenever them get anything like that, it is going to lick them chip. They don't want it to go anywhere else. They want to preserve it or keep it for themselves. And we know that they are jealous and obsessive because so we say it seems as if that is a trend in a Jamaica right now. People are K-I-L-L for the P-U-M-S and was for the heads. If it is educational, meaning Ivy League, that means say it good, it better than anything out there, better than sliced bread, allegedly. Now people, like me say, the whole thing is tragic because we see say, once before, it was usually the non-traditional schools that we see entangled in all sorts of physical fiasco. But now we see say, at the Calabar and the GSC and the KC and even Campion. When we talk about Campion, we never hear anything about Campion other than school challenge quiz, other than good educational stuff, other than progress. Now we hear say, Campion involved in a some sorts of PUM, PUM champs. People, this is sad. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.